Akara just released their first thread-based product, the Akara Door and Window Sensor P2. This supports matter over thread, which means unlike Akara's wide array of Zigbee products, you can connect the P2 directly to any matter-enabled smart home ecosystem without the need for an Akara hub. Speaking of hubs, Akara also announced a new Akara hub coming early 2024. So why would you want a new Akara hub if they're starting to make products like the new door and window sensor that don't require an Akara hub? Well, we'll cover all that today, plus everything else you need to know regarding Akara's first thread-based matter product. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home smart home with new videos and live streams every week. So we've been seeing a lot more thread and matter products roll out from various brands in this smart home space. Now I'm not gonna do a deep dive on matter and thread today, but in a nutshell, thread is a wireless protocol that provides a low latency mesh capable communication for your smart home devices. Just like some products connect to your smart home over Wi-Fi, some connect via Zigbee, like all the other Acara sensors and stuff. Now we have products that connect via thread. And Matter, on the other hand, is an application layer. So Matter is built on top of protocols such as Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and yes, you guessed it, thread. Essentially, all you need to know about Matter is that if a product is Matter certified, it will work with your ecosystem of choice, whether it's Amazon's Apple Home, Google Home, Smart Things, or Home Assistant. Matter does support local communication, which is great. That just means that your devices don't need to communicate up to the cloud, you know, every time you want to turn on a light or something like that. All right, now enter the new Cara Door and Window Sensor P2. It costs $29.99 and is available on Amazon right now. Now, full disclosure, Akara did send me this sensor at no cost so that I could test it out and share it with you. Akara has been a sponsor of the channel in the past, but this video is not sponsored. Regardless, you're gonna get my honest thoughts and opinions here as always. Today, uh, I do just like to be transparent about all that. We see that matter stamp here on the box. Then on the back, we can see built on thread, and it does require a thread border router to connect to your smart home. Now there are numerous matter enabled thread border routers available that can be used to integrate something like this into your smart home. A thread border router can be a HomePod or a HomePod mini, an Apple TV, Amazon Echo, Google Nest Hub, or SmartThings Hub, just to name a few. In the box, we have our documentation and the sensor itself. It is a pretty big sensor. It also comes with a little magnet that can be used in place of the smaller piece if you need to. It has sticky tape on the back of each side for an easy installation. If I pop it open, you can see a single CR123A battery that comes with it. So not really a typical battery that you probably have just laying around the house. I'll close it up and pair it to my Apple Home by scanning the Matter QR code in the Apple Home app. After a short time, it connects just fine on the first attempt I can rename it and then add it to any of my virtual rooms here in the Apple Home app. And just like that, our contact sensor is now working in Apple Home. To add the sensor to another smart home ecosystem, you will need to put it into pairing mode. Now you can do that in the settings of the Home app or whichever Matter controller app you are using. I'll turn on pairing mode here and then copy that code so I can add the sensor to my Google Home setup. In the Google Home app, I can tap on new device. I'll tap on add a matter enabled device. Now I'm gonna skip the QR code so that I can paste in the code that I've copied, move through a few more prompts, and now it's connected to Google Home as well as my Apple Home. Now at the time of launch, you cannot use the sensor in the Acara Home app since the P2 does require a matter enabled thread border router. And you might say, well, who cares if I can connect it directly to my smart home? You know, why would you care about that? Well, if you do like to create automations directly in the Akara app, you won't be able to use this sensor there. You also won't be able to use this sensor as one of the triggering sensors for your Akara security system if that's something you use. Now that said, Akara is anticipating the release of the first Akara thread border router, the Hub M3 in early 2024, along with an update of the Akara home app to support Matter. So 
What does that mean? Well, essentially you could just use Akara as your Matter enabled smart home ecosystem if you wanted to. You would be able to pair any Matter accessories to your Akara home app. This will also bring some added features to the door and window sensor P2, such as tamper alerts, adjustable sensitivity settings, and even the ability to program the little button on it to run the smart scenes or automations. So all that's pretty interesting. It's great that Akara is releasing a product like the P2 door sensor that can connect directly to any smart home ecosystem thanks to Matter and Thread without the need for an Akara hub or even the Akara app. But they're also giving you some incentive to use an Akara hub and the Akara app. Well, at least once that M3 hub is released, which to me does make a lot of sense. I think all these Matter controller apps or ecosystems will need to create some incentives for you to use their ecosystem. Same applies to Apple Home, Google Home, Alexa, all those. Hopefully those platforms will just continue to get better and give us a good reason to use those ecosystems as our preferred smart home platform. Do me a favor and drop a comment below if you want me to make a video that kind of dives deeper into matter and you know all my thoughts on this kinds of stuff. Uh, where we are, where I think we may be headed and all that. I know it is kind of confusing. But for now, let's get my final thoughts on this contact sensor. The first thing I notice is the size of the sensor. It's pretty big for a contact sensor. Here you can see the size when compared to some other contact sensors, including the original Akara Zigbee door and window sensor, as well as the Onvis thread-based motion sensor here. You can even see it paired up here against an original Zigbee-based Akara door and window sensor. And you can see the response times here from one to the other. In my short time, I did find that the sensor seemed much more responsive in the Apple Home app than in the Google Home app. One thing that I don't really like is that, at least at the time of this recording, there doesn't appear to be any way to check the battery life. At least in the Apple Home and the Google Home app, there's no battery status anywhere that I can find. So I don't think that's a matter limitation either because I've seen other thread-based matter accessories that do show battery life or status in the Home app. I was really hoping to be able to check the battery level after using it for a little while to share with you, but I can't find that anywhere. So with that said, only time will tell at this point how long the battery will last. It does have that pretty big CR123A battery, so I would hope that would last quite a long time. Again, time will tell. Being a huge fan of all the Akara Zigbee products, including the original door and window sensor um, that have battery life that lasts forever, I find it hard to believe that the performance or the battery life of this one could be any better than those. That's not really knocking this one, it just speaks real highly of the rest of the Akara products. Honestly, I'm not so sure I'd get one of those. Uh, new sensors if I already had one of the Akara Zigbee hubs and that's just because those Zigbee based products are super reliable and responsive they're very affordable the door and window sensor is almost half the price of the new P2 and the batteries last forever on those things now if you really don't want an Akara hub and do prefer those thread based products then this appears to be a great option and since it does support matter you know it will work with any smart home platform and it is future proof let me know what you think down below in the comments. Would you get one of these over the existing Akora Zigbee sensors? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And since you seem to be interested in Thread and Matter products, check out this video right over here where we take a look at the first Matter over Thread smart button that was just released a few days ago. Thanks so much for watching today and I will see you in the next video.